Hi, this is Sumit Kumar Dash from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. Today, we will look more into File Manager in Managed File Transfer. File Manager The Managed File Transfer File Manager allows authorized users to work with files through their browser. This intuitive interface makes it very easy for users to explore, download and upload files as authorized without the need of special client software. These remote files can be located on the managed file transfer server or mapped drives. A particular user could only be able to download files from an assigned directory where another user could be granted permissions to upload, rename or delete file as well as have the permissions to other directories on the server. The following actions are available by selecting a files action icon. We can rename a file by clicking the icon, type a new file name in the dialog box and click the rename button, delete a file by clicking the gear icon. Similarly, copy and move actions can be done destination directory in the dialog box can be added and click the copy or move button now as we could see here like informatica managed file transfer portal is there and uh, it's version 10.5 now let me first log in with the admin user So, in order to get the file manager, there is an option inside the system, a file manager. Since I have logged in with the uh, administrator uh, user, then I have get the access. These roles can be uh, changed or can be accessed by providing or by managing the admin users. So, as you could see, I have created an administrator user, which is the by default, and another user called as Sumit over here. We will discuss it later. Let's go to the file manager over here. And as you could see, this is the default location of the administrator it is showing. So basically, this is the location where yeah, you could use the file manager. If here you could see uh, multiple options. Like if you go here, then you can go inside this uh, user data slash document slash test folder. There is one a folder. If you go here, you could find multiple uh, files and folders which are present, like root, sumit, and the test which I have created. There is an option present for uh, make new folder. If you click over here, you can type uh, you can create a new folder as test two, and it will create a new test two folder created. Sumit is basically a user which is a admin user we have created from this option so that's why it is automatically created let's go inside the Sumit folder this directory looks empty so since we have the proper rights we can upload the files from here like uh, in this way it's uploaded if you click on the show items it will give you the successful entry as we could see this file has been placed now now what are the actions we can done or perform with this file you see there is a gear icon you can select this file select on this gear icon and then you have these options called as rename copy move and delete if you wish you can uh, perform all this activity suppose i want to rename uh, this file and we can easily do it like i just want to make it as an iscs.pdf click on the rename and it will done you can click on the copy and uh, you can provide here the destination directory in order to copy this file uh, if you log in inside the server let me show you so basically this is the server uh, where these files are present if you can see like administrator root summit and test so these are the files which are basically present over here so we have renamed the file as iscs.pdf and you could see the changes has been made over this file similarly we can change some of the privileges of the user uh, which i have logged in uh, for an example i told you earlier in my 
uh, starting like i have logged in with the admin user but uh, we can use a uh, submit user here to check more information so as you could see it is an another admin user and uh, if we remove this file manager option from here you won't be able to see the file manager option inside the system let me show you i have removed this thing and i'm clicking on save i'm logging out i'm logging in with this remote user Yeah, you could see like there is no file manager option is present so basically we need that uh, role for this admin user let me log in by the admin uh, user once again administrator okay uh, let me go in, go quickly inside the admin user summit and uh, let me add this roles over here along with that you could see there are two other options for the file permission specifically write uh, read only and read and write if we uh, if we just select the read only option if we enable it and save then we could we could only see the files we are unable to upload any file let me show you let me log in once again inside the summit system file manager you could see that there is no option for the upload of the files so the, in this way we could restrict uh, the privileges of this user and uh, we could only see the file if we select here we could see like uh, one row has been selected so nothing uh, further actions we could take it from here we would love to hear from you you can drop us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com also you can send any query at our twitter account infasupport thank you